Good morning, y'all. I am going to be making a turkey and black bean chili. My crock pot is my best friend on Fridays, pretty much. So I just thought I would take you guys with me. Maybe it's something new you could add to your, you know, repertoire. I have cooked some turkey, onion, Oh, it's about a pound of turkey, uh, one large onion, and about three cloves of garlic with salt and pepper. And I'm going to stick that in the crock pot. There are going to be dishes. Okay. And to this, I'm going to add in some spices. I have to look at my camera to make sure it's showing good. So what I have is about, uh, most of this is about tablespoons, except I only have about half a teaspoon of cayenne, because I'll just add that as I go. I'm just getting used to the hot stuff. This is about a tablespoon of jalapeno powder. This is chili powder, a tablespoon of cocoa, paprika, and then I have about half a tablespoon of cumin and half a teaspoon tablespoon of coriander and I just ground those together and this is about two tablespoons of brown sugar it just all works in here really well so let me dump this all in uh, okay I'm gonna stir that in sorry I have a little bit of stuff going on with my nose cat dander I think Okay, so to this, I'm going to add about two cups of black beans. You can pre-soak them the night before and um, drain them off. And I'm going to stir this kind of easy because I don't want to crack them all. I'm not sure if this is showing up on the cam, so let me look. Mm, kind of, sort of. Maybe that'll be better. Right there. Okay, and then I have around a cup of tomato paste. And if you take your tomatoes and you dehydrate them, you can grind them up to make this, and then you're just gonna figure out about how much you need. So, this is about seven tablespoons of tomato powder, and then you just pour in your hot water to rehydrate, to rehydrate it, and it works really well get it you can also if you keep diluting it with water you can actually make tomato paste, uh, sauce excuse me tomato sauce as well and then I have some tomatoes and I'm going to pour in tomatoes Stir this up just a bit. It's already smelling good just with the seasonings that are in there. Okay. Then I'm going to grab um, some corn, which I forgot to get out here. It's frozen. I really, I'm not crazy about canned corn, so. Just my preference is frozen, so I'm going to grab some corn and a cup of water, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got my about a cup of corn added in and a cup of water, and this is going to make way too much for me. But the good thing is I have neighbors next door. We take food to each other all the time, so hopefully... Um, they may be interested in this too. I am going to turn this on low and I'm going to let it just slow cook for most of the day. Stir it every so often. You can put cilantro. I don't happen to like cilantro so I'm going to skip that part but if you want you can add cilantro. Well, you know when it's just about done you can do cilantro Peppers would be really good in here, but honestly, I don't have any, which is why I put the jalapeno powder and a little bit of the cayenne, but peppers would be really good in here too. I don't know, probably one. 
you know, make it your own. Spicy, not spicy, all up to you. But anyway, um, yeah, I am going to, when this is done, pretty close to being done, I'm going to chop up probably about um, six or eight green onions, and I'm going to stir all the way through this because I like green onions a lot. And then, you know, you can serve it as you would any other kind of chili. There you go, and I will get back with you and show you what it's finished. There you go, and when it's finished, I will get back to you and show you the final product. So y'all, there it is. Um, Southwestern, I guess, turkey chili. I added some green onion, parsley, and a big fingerfuls of lemon lime basil because that really brightens up a lot of the flavors there you go you guys have a wonderful weekend I probably won't post this till Monday though so happy Monday see ya God bless ya